South African police had used tear gas and rubber bullets to break up a protest by stewards over wages hours after the Germany-Australia match in Durban Sunday night. One of the workers said they were promised 1,500 rand, which is close to $200, but instead received just 190 rand, the equivalent of $25. Authorities claim no one was seriously injured, but the gas did leave some coughing and gasping. A police spokesman said the dispute was between stadium workers and a security contractor. Rich M. Kondo speaks for the World Cup's local organizing committee. It's an employer-employee dispute over wages. That's all it is. And let me qualify it by saying our constitution in this country allows people to express their views when it comes to strike action. But Mkando said tournament organizers were meeting with the security company Stallion to discuss the situation. And in the end, organizers decided to give responsibility for stadium security in Durban and Cape Town over to police for future matches as the wage dispute escalated. Teams and fans reportedly weren't much affected by the trouble in Durban. And in Johannesburg Monday, Dutch spirits were high as the Netherlands opened their World Cup campaign against Denmark. And if the fans in the orange throng were excited ahead of the contest, they were ecstatic after the one nil win. I thought the game was absolutely superb. A bit slow in the first half, but it really got going in the second half. Things were a lot more subdued in Cape Town, where rainy weather was washing out some of the hope for fan gathering ahead of Monday night's match between Italy and Paraguay. Early on, the vendors were left blowing the ever-present plastic horns, the vuvuzelas, on their own in an empty plaza. The horns themselves have become a sensitive topic, as some visiting fans and broadcasters complained about their overpowering buzzing noise inside the stadiums. Mkondo said, however, that visitors need to adjust to the way South Africans behave. It is a world event hosted by South Africa. So as our guests, please embrace our culture. Please embrace the way we celebrate. <laughs> Even world soccer chief Sepp Blatter has defended the Vuvuzelas, saying in a Twitter message Monday he doesn't see banning the music traditions of fans in their own country. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.